All right, stay tuned to the end because I'm going to point out a couple things. Here we go. A space icon. What was it like? Woo! I can't tell you. I had such a good instructor. He took us through everything that we were going to do. So when I went up this morning, the noise wasn't quite as bad. And we went right on up and I saw darkness. I thought I was going to see the world, but we weren't quite high enough. Translation, I thought I was going to see the blue marble, you know, the curvature, the spinning ball earth below me. So apparently 63 miles up or over 332,000 feet in the air is not enough to see curvature. And this corroborates what Neil deGrasse Tyson says. He says, you can't see curvature. You're not high enough, even at 63 miles up. So she's disappointed that she didn't see the world. She didn't see the curvature. She wanted to see the spinning ball that we've all been brainwashed into believing is real from all this GoPro footage and all the fake footage of the Earth taken from out of space, people. But this dingbat didn't check to find out whether she could see the curvature of the Earth or not. That's like Clark Griswold in Vacation, one of the movies, I forget which one, driving all the way across country to go to Wally World only to find out when he gets there that it's closed. And then he gets mad and punches uh, the moose, Wally the moose, in the nose. I mean, this is something you got to look into before you spend all this money and, and book this expensive trip. So that's what kind of happened to her. She was expecting to see the curvature of the earth and didn't see it. So there you go. It's flat from 63 miles up. It's one of the biggest things maybe you'll do in your life. Go up, you know, to uh, high up and do a free fall. And she didn't find out. She didn't ask Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, by the way, you didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you. Do you know how high up above the earth he was? No. So if you take a 63 globe, miles. Oh, yeah, say right. So take a schoolroom globe and ask how high above it is he? So he's about two millimeters above the surface of a schoolroom globe. Mm, so nobody has seen the curvature of the earth from that height. Just, I just want to make that clear. Okay, and let me make this perfectly clear to all you um, pilots, you anti-flat earth pilots out there that say that, oh, you see the curvature from the airplane. Well, if you're not seeing it from 60 miles up, what Neil said there, you can't see the curvature from 60 miles up, then you're definitely not seeing it from eight miles up. Okay, and for all you pilots who have shown your altimeters or your uh, instrumentation that's showing that the horizon is below where it's supposed to be, well, no. If you're not seeing any curvature from 60 miles, again, you're not seeing it from 8, and your instrumentation's not seeing it from 8 miles up. Okay, if you're not seeing curvature from left to right, then you're not seeing curvature from you out to the horizon and beyond. Okay, it doesn't exist. It's flat. Let's just be clear there. Nobody has seen the curvature of the Earth from that height. Just, I just want to make that clear. So it's footage like this, taken with a fisheye lens, that has deceived people either intentionally or unintentionally. And we've seen this for decades now, where it turns the Earth into a ball. Now this is from Felix Baumgartner's jump, about 25 miles up. Clearly, the Earth's not a ball from 25 miles where Neil deGrasse says you can't see curvature from 60 miles up. So not only does this camera turn the Earth into a ball, it turns the sky into a ball. It turns everything into a ball. Something like this. Here you go. You got ball sky, ball Earth. Ball sky, ball Earth. Ball sky, ball earth all right everybody if you enjoyed this ball give it a sky. thumbs up man give it a chance to for more people to see it subscribe if you haven't already and check out links ball in earth. the description on how to uh ball sky help me do this stuff all right appreciate it talk to you guys soon ball earth